Hello, world. This is Mr. Gurley Micro again. Okay, so here we are, podcast number two. Podcast number one, already done. Cheers, darling. Cheers, darling. That's quite all right. Okay, so five years after she wrote her first uh, blog, uh, she wrote another one. Who knew? Um, and now here we, we are to hand you over to Gurley Micro for podcast number two. Remember, all opinions are our own. This blog post was published on the 11th of October 2020 and called Why Have I Waited Five Years? It's been five years since my last and embarrassingly only post on this blog. I started it when I'd just been awarded my PhD. After four years of focusing on my research and thesis, I thought that I would have the mental space and time to really invest in something that I'm personally passionate about, science communication. I think... When many of us finish a big project like a PhD, there's almost a grieving feeling at the end. What do I do now? The thing that's been a massive part of your every waking, and in my case also sleeping, moment is now done. It makes sense to rest, recuperate and reflect. This is what I should have done. Sadly, as those of you who know me can attest, I'm not very good at any of those things. It's a skill set I'm still working to develop. So instead of stopping, I decided to sit the exams to become a fellow of the Royal College of Pathologists, FRC Path. This was a big deal for me. Not that many healthcare scientists in microbiology at the time had sat the medical microbiology exam and no one who only worked in paediatrics. It was important to me, though, as I see patients and I felt the need to be equally qualified as my medical colleagues. It was the final step to getting on the higher specialist scientific register and being eligible to apply for a consultant healthcare scientist post. So I started to prepare for the great British break-off for professional exams, but without the comfort of cake. Four days, 30 hours of exams with lab and written sections. If I thought the PhD was tricky, FRC path was just another level. Five years ago, I posted on Facebook on the 30th of September, 2015. Dr. Elaine Cartman Green is feeling drained. Day three. It's 6 a.m. and I'm reading brain abscess guidelines. I'm exhausted. I feel sick and I really want to go home. It's been so much harder than I had dreamed and I have cocked up on so many things. I get to leave tomorrow and that's all I care about now. I no longer care if I pass, I just want it to stop. Winding over, eyes on the finish line. When I leave here, let's never mention these days again. Sometimes you have to face the failure and difficulties head on to come out stronger. Fortunately for me, I came through the other side and was gobsmacked in 2015 to find out that I had passed. And 2016, you say? But that's still years ago, so why nothing since then? At the same time as recovering from FRC PATH exams, I decided to apply for an NIHR, so that's the National Institute of Health Research, big funding for health research in the UK, clinical lectureship. I know, I've got a problem, right? From 2016 to 2019, I'd been beavering away on my clinical academic career as part of an NIHR ICA fellowship. More on that and what a clinical academic is will be posted on a separate blog in a bit. After an intense five years with a lot of highs and some level of stress, I'm back. I promise to not make you wait five years for another post. In case it's useful though, here are some things I learnt in those five years. Learn to rest, regenerate and reflect. These skills are undervalued. Sometimes you have to face your fears in order to thrive. In my case, I have a massive fear of failure. And finally, you are capable of anything you can dream of if you work hard enough. Dream big and aim high. All opinions in this blog are my own.